Hello everybody, welcome back to Wild Planet Zoo. Um, this is my new series. Um, hopefully you have seen the previous episode, but if not, I shall pop a little link. Um, but uh, as you will know if you did see that, last time we started off with some Europe pack stuff and we did down here the Lynx enclosure. <coughs> so um, this is our Lynx enclosure. So um, I'm going to continue the same sort of style of video because I got quite a few comments saying that they did like um, the style, the piece by piece build, where I'll list all the pieces I've used as we go along in a kind of stop motion um, style so that you can see exactly which pieces I've used to, um, to make the enclosure look as it does. So in this next episode <coughs> I thought we will stick with the uh, the Europe theme um, since that is the latest DLC we've got out and we will do this enclosure here so this is the Ibex enclosure so um, as with before it's already made I've deleted everything and then I will show you the stop motion and then I'll pop back in in like a real-time tour bit at the end um, so basically the general sort of overview will be we've got like a moat at the front um, We've got this kind of hillside enclosure. So it's relatively steep <coughs> And then um, over here this little area here will be the house and like little little yard area um, It's not going to be ultra realistic as I've said this series is more about sort of design just making things look kind of nice rather than full on realism which is what I've done in previous series so um, yeah we will basically just try and make it look cool and I'm, I'm very happy with the end result so what I'll do is I will um, come out of here <coughs> and then we will go through the um, the stop motion the piece by piece and um, show you all the bits that I've used and then we'll come and see the, the finished product at the end of it so hopefully you enjoy and I'll see you back in the live portion
Okay guys, so we are back and we are live in the enclosure. So, uh, we've got the Ibex in, as you can see. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I did take inspiration from um, some zoo in Europe, I can't actually remember exactly which one. But um, it was sort of kind of similar to this, it had like a moat at the front and then a lot of rock work and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very happy with it. So we've got the little outdoor shelter, um, just so that it's kind of on show if they want to rest in there. We've got obviously a lot of height for the um, for them and a lot of rocks to climb on. And for if you're sort of at this kind of visitor perspective, um, it looks pretty cool when they climb right up the top. Um, <coughs> also feeder. I'm trying to use bits and bobs to. Um, attract them to certain areas in this enclosure as you saw during the um, piece by piece so we've got a feeder down here we've got a hay feeder down there also barrel feeder sorry and um, we've got a water bowl up on the rocks over there and then we've got a couple of herb scent enrichment items in the rocks as well so just to encourage them to kind of move around and to go up there because um, this is like one of the best shots when the male goes right up there on the uh, on the top of the rocks there I haven't actually used the Ibex enrichment item, the climbing mountain, in this because I made this for a modded Ibex before the official one came out, so I didn't have that piece, but I think it's still pretty nice the way they use it anyway. It just obviously doesn't have those specific um, animations, um, but they still look pretty cool going up there and they do climb up there fairly nicely, just a little bit of weird um, angles sometimes. but. Um, yeah, so we've got a little moat. In reality, maybe would need to be slightly more um, deep, sort of that way, <coughs> um, because it's not overly wide. <laughs> um, but it's enough. As I say, it's not 100% realism that I'm going for here. It is more just the kind of design of it. So, a couple of big trees, some shelter, um, similar kind of theming with the plants, the kind of European woodlandy low sort of vegetation, a couple of bushes but not too built up um, and there yeah just uh, this kind of fence sign at the front um, so and then down here obviously we've got the little yard area what I have done is um, open this gate so in the piece by piece you saw this was closed but what I've done is just open it up to a kind of open position that way and then um, the animals and staff can go back and forth through this which is good. I wasn't sure if they'd be able to fit but they all can so that's handy. So um, when they're placed in the habitat they should be able to make their way out themselves. Um, fairly small shed, again not ultra realism, this maybe would be too small for the amount of animals we have. Um, a few different doors and bits, um, staff door there as if there's a small sort of store area. Um, some. Uh, windows, uh, skylights, which is kind of nice, and um, using these emissive windows, um, and some framework, <coughs> and then around the back just like another little window in the side. Um, so that is the um, the Ibex Mountain, they look really cool up there. So I tried to make it kind of sight line. Um, where there's a kind of specific clearing in the trees or like with not too much behind so that when they're up there you get a really nice view and then as we saw in the last episode when you're down this way at this viewing area as well um, for the links you can see the ibex up there looking pretty cool so I've, um, I've tried to specifically do that so that it looks pretty cool uh, in terms of the sight line there. So you think, oh look at them, that's cool, how do I get to them? And then you've obviously got to follow the path all the way around um, to get up there. So, um, there's, I mean there's not really much more to say about it to be honest. Um, we've, um, around the back of this, I've just, I'm have just i just planting it up, so this is obviously just a big hill. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going to be at the back of this, um, but on this side where it joins to um, Wild Australia, we've just kind of fenced it off there um, and fenced that off, and then got this kind of row of trees or head kind of hedgerowy thing there, and then I'll probably um, 
or possibly do something there to block it off but maybe just leave it so that you can kind of catch a glimpse of them from this angle too because it's kind of cool if you just about see them from certain angles um, while you're looking at these aviaries <coughs> which I won't show off much of because they're not really done um, so yeah that is the next enclosure in wild Europe um, for the Alpine Ibex um, quite a few other bits to do with this one um, I've got muskox down there and reindeer next door um, but I thought I'll get out the uh, DLC animals first um, while they're still kind of relevant in the um, the period after the DLC has dropped um, and then we can venture out into other bits what I might do is maybe do something different to Europe um, for the next video in this series just to um, kind of spice it up a little bit um, give you a chance to see some different areas um, that I've been working on <coughs> um, but yeah that is it for this episode hopefully you enjoyed as um, I said last time if you do have any suggestions um, of either like species you think I should try and include in this zoo or um, if you have any ideas of how I could improve the video and the style because obviously it's kind of a slightly new style um, that I'm testing out here um, it did get good feedback like I say um, there was a couple of comments um, I couldn't really highlight the pieces um, just for the way I was taking the photos <coughs> um, because I, I couldn't click on them and then go on to what I needed to do to take the screenshots in the right position as far as I could tell so unfortunately I couldn't highlight um, on the picture the actual um, items I was adding which someone did ask about um, so I apologize for that but hopefully you can kind of make it out and then um, if you do have any any more questions about certain pieces that you've seen in the build or any more specifics you could always join the discord um, and ask me in there um, link will be in the description and um, of course if you have enjoyed this series so far these two episodes and you'd like to see more of what I've been doing then you can subscribe um, to me on here and um, continue watching the videos as well as all my other videos that I've posted before um, and then you can follow me on Twitch as well um, where I have done some live building in the series too so I did build this one if I remember rightly on stream on Twitch um, so you can follow me on there if you want to see some live building bits and subscribe on here um, to see these kind of step by step or piece by piece videos of how I've made them um, you can also follow me on Twitter as well, of course. Um, and that is it, I think. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Leave any comments, um, suggestions or anything like that in the comments or on Discord. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs>